Let's roam around the West Vancouver. Welcome to Trestle Bridge Walk. A trestle bridge has been built in West Vancouver near Cypress Bowl Road that connects the Mountain Path Trail Network and offers scenic views of the city. There's ample parking and a great view from this location. The new West Vancouver Trestle Bridge was inaugurated in early December 2021. It is accessible by the public and is free to enter. Beautiful convenient new walking or biking path along Cypress Road. Enjoy the view of high pine trees. The two big rock formations on each side of the path on your way to the bridge was a sort of canyon which is magnificent. The bridge is about 200 meter long. It is a more or less 10 minutes walk to get in the bridge. From the beauty of the bridge surrounded by tall pine trees and the peaceful atmosphere to the sweeping views, there are many reasons why you should add the new trestle bridge in West Vancouver. There are no amenities on site yet but the path takes to to Cyprus pop-up village that you can treat yourself with coffee, fresh made pizza and beer. After a short walk and relaxation let's go to Cyprus mountain. There is a plenty of parking space up there. It is usually busy during the weekends you might just walk a little bit farther to the hiking area. Washroom available in the parking area. Summer in Cypress Mountain Park is home to a huge network of hiking trails for all abilities, a mountain roller coaster, viewpoints, picnic areas, and more. The network of trails in Cypress Provincial Park provides lots of hike but I recommend the short and easy hike to Bowen Lookout. It has a spectacular view of Howe Sound and Bowen Island. The following trails that you can visit. Bowen Lookout and St. Mark's Summit via Howe Sound Crest Trail. Eagle Ridge Bluffs via Black Mountain Trail. St. Mark's Summit. And many more trails. Let's go for an easy hiking at U Lake Trail to see the beautiful Bowen Lookout. <laughs> yeah. I remember. The two kilometer trail loops past small ponds in subalpine terrain. Interpretive signs along the way explain this unique ecosystem. The trail is wide and has gentle slopes, so it's a good option for wheelchair users or those with limited mobility. But I remember. Notes.
Dogs are not allowed. Be prepared. Know the bear safety tips. Trail hiking isn't too difficult and not long, but the uphill section is steep and loose rocky making it a challenging hike uphill and downhill for some. Not strong yet. The 4.3 kilometers loop trail near West Vancouver, British Columbia, generally considered an easy route. It takes an average of 1 hour 18 minutes to complete. This is a very popular area for birding, hiking, and snowshoeing during winter. Welcome to Bowen Lookout. This beautiful Stellar's J came and landed on my hand. Unfortunately, I couldn't have taken a picture. We stayed for 40 amins to relax, taking photos, eat snacks, and feeding birds. We walked to the another loop going down from the mountain which is easier from the loop going up. You can go to whatever path you chose. Travel over 1,700 meters with 279 meters of vertical drop. Riders can control their own speed by using the brake and can safely reach thrilling speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour winding down the track lane. They send the carts up as well. The people, people go up. Carts yeah. going up as well. Prices depends on date and time. One person for two rides is ranges from $50 to $60. One person for one ride is ranges from $29 to $32. Be aware of the rules and regulations as well. Book online and have fun. Summer dining is available at the Crazy Raven Bar and Grill, open June through until early September.
The Cyprus Provincial Picnic Area is a beautiful spot that's a bit hidden away and not always somewhere you think to come. It is a nice big picnic area, few parking space and a bit view. Stop here and enjoy the great overlook for Vancouver downtown. The Cypress Pop-Up Village is open 24 hours. A new public gathering space bringing the convenience of a park with a food vendor, bike wash and repair, an amazing view as well as local art. Come and enjoy a large grass field, boardwalk, panoramic views, along with free parking and washrooms. Take a walk from here to Trestle Bridge or vice versa as I mentioned at the beginning. 